Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hope you're doing well. For a long time, America has had the alcohol culture. What has it brought us? It has brought us so many sick people, so many broken homes, the need for organ transplants, for the liver, kidney dialysis, you name it. Alcohol culture that is pushed everywhere. I go on Pinterest, there's an ad for vodka and all this other crap. And I, I keep hit, I keep hitting hide ad, hide ad, not relevant to me, but it keeps getting pushed. Same on Instagram. And even if you go on Twitter slash X, you switch your VPN. If you go to Mexico, you will see so many alcohol companies being pushed. And then you switch to America, you see different types of advertisements, but along the same vein. And the French and Italian culture is also heavy on wine, right? So we look at the fruit of what that has brought, and it's destroyed countless marriages. It's caused so many people to end the lives of others through drunk driving, right? And domestic violence fights that have landed people in prison or worse, dead. And it's time for a new path forward. We have to break the cultural conditioning of drinking and Islam has a solution for that because Islam allows us to break free from the chains of intoxicants. It forces us to become actually stronger and not have a pacifier of the beer bottle. It enables us to fortify our souls, become stronger and rise above the slothness and sloppiness that alcohol induces when one becomes a regular consumer of it. And we have to look at the drinking culture in America and see that there is a problem. Islam has a solution for that is to cut it out, stop advertising it, stop selling it, and the rates of alcoholism will go down. If we just don't allow anyone to have the permits to sell it, we close down all the factories in America that produce it, the rate of alcoholism and societal dysfunction will evaporate when it comes to the problems caused from high alcohol consumption. Okay. This is important because alcohol ruins society, ruins people's bodies, causes mass trauma on children after seeing their loved ones slowly die from alcohol, from their parents fighting, and enough of the, well, I'm a casual drinker and I only drink once in a while. We all know that alcoholics don't just go from zero to a hundred. It's a very incremental process that starts through coping. You're sad, you don't like one of your partner, you, you, you need to drink in order to do intimacy or to cope with your job. It starts through seeking a sort of tonic out to help the pain in your chest and the weight upon your mind go away. So Islam, getting into the marketplace and not allowing such products to be sold will help stop the rates at which people turn to alcoholism. Sharia law, aka Islam, has the remedy for America. We've had many years to test out how humans will manage alcohol and they have not been able to manage it properly. Therefore, it's time to pull the plug. It's time to make our society healthier and stronger and more mindful. And the way in which we do that is by getting rid of alcohol altogether and doing that through an incremental process. It is quite hilarious that the climate activists want to ban us from eating meat, close down family farms, but then say we don't have water and then allow soda and alcohol companies to take the water. So we can't eat red meat, but here's some vodka. We care about your health. Really analyze this. People will fight harder to keep vodka on the shelf than they will for an organic grass-fed steak. Think about what I've said. Islam has a solution. If you'd like to join my blog, it's www.subscribestar.com slash Hope to see you there.